Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Drive Tech, back again with yet another video for you guys. And this video, I'm going to be talking about case for the Poco X3 NFC right here. So I've covered a bit on this phone already with the camera and the gaming performance. If you do want to watch that, I will leave it in the description below. I'm sure you already know that this phone comes with an antibacterial TPU case in the box. And I think this case is great, but however, it doesn't cover the camera lens. So the reason I'm concerned about the camera lens is because this is not made of sapphire. It's just made of regular glass and we don't even know what kind of glass it's made of. So exposing your camera lens through this hole right here, especially this camera bump, I think it poses a lot of risk when you put it in your pocket with keys and coins just in case. And also when you drop it, you might end up scratching the lens. So you might be thinking, why not just slap on the tempered glass screen protector for the camera lens? Yeah, that would be good, but however, it does degrade the camera quality. So how do you protect it without sacrificing the image quality? So in this video, we'll be looking at the New King Cam Shield case. I don't usually recommend China made cases, you know on this channel I cover cases from Otterbox, from Speedgen, from all these big big brands but this is one of the first time I'm actually covering a case made by a Chinese brand but of course Nukin is a pretty good company, I've used many of their products over many many years and I think their products are actually pretty good so in this video we'll be looking at the case but before we begin this video if you haven't subscribed to this channel already do hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post I try to post about two times a week because it's MCO now in Malaysia. So without further ado, let's take a look at the New King Cam Shield case for the Poco X3 NFC. Alright, so let's go through the packaging really quick. This is a very simple case with very minimal packaging. So on the top, you can see New King branding. You can see made for the Poco X3 NFC. You can see Cam Shield case. You can see the case inside as well. Alright, so let's take it out of the packaging. Right, so that's all that comes in the box so basically just the case itself so let's take a look around the case okay so you can see on the back you can see discover innovation so this is actually the sliding part so it's pretty sturdy and then you can see this uh, textured portion of the case let me scrap it for you you can see it's a textured portion so it does pick up some oil marks over time i've actually tried on this case okay let's take a look at the inside basically it's super simple and minimalistic case so this doesn't really offer much drop protection if you're looking for a case with drop protection probably wait for a big brand like maybe Speedgen to make because Speedgen actually makes cases for the Poco F2 if I'm not mistaken but anyways I think this case solves a lot of problem with the original TPU case number one is that this case is very slim I do like slim cases if you're a fan of slim cases definitely get this and also it protects the camera lens this is my biggest concern is actually the camera lens itself all right so you can see my poco x3 nfc is full of smudges all right so let's see how we slap it on so i would like to go in button side first so it's as simple as that button side first snapping it in as easy as that you can see my screen protector is full of oil marks then anyway, i'm going to be changing out my screen protector so probably i look for a good screen protector and then i'll recommend it to you guys so honestly this case is good you can see all the cutouts let me get this in focus you see the cutouts are precise no problems with the buttons very tactile i do not really like this kind of uh, design but anyway as long as it's tactile that's the most important thing so you can see my camera actually turned on all right so you can see what else nothing really much you can see your cutouts on the top uh, spot on okay on the bottom you can see cutout for the 3.5 mm headphone jack you can see for your usb-c your speaker as well as your microphone on the right side basically nothing because there's nothing on the phone let's take a look at the back this is the start of the show see Sliding up reveals the quad camera setup. So if you don't want to use it, you can just slide it on. So it's very easy to use. Of course, when you buy it, it's a bit stiff, so it takes some time to break in. I've actually played this with this uh, for a while just to make sure. So if this is actually too stiff, I mean, what's the point of having this case? But this overall is okay. So that's the reason I can recommend it. And it main thing, it protects the camera lens. So in case you do drop it like this or hit some rocks, it's going to hit this portion of the case so it's not going to hit the camera lens directly but i wouldn't recommend you dropping your phone in this case you still have to take care of the phone basically because this case is too thin if you do drop it probably it might damage the phone itself but for me i'm pretty careful with my devices and i don't drop them so basically this case is good so if you're a person that actually takes care of your devices i mean this case you're not going to have a problem with it so what i do like about this case is there are grips at the side as well so if you do hold your phone like this when taking pictures you're actually not going to drop it so easily because the grips are pretty nice pretty rough as well so you have a good grip and the back 
has a nice uh, rib texture so actually if you do hold it you're not going to be slipping out of your hand at all so really i do like this case so this case is actually priced at about 20 to 30 ringgit so if you're in malaysia and you do want to purchase this i'll leave the link in the description below so get it from the official Neokin store is safer because you know China companies are also copying each other it's kind of retarded though so I got this from the official Neokin store it took about one week one and a half weeks to reach I mean you have this TPU case you can just chill with that first before you receive your Neokin cam shoe case but I can really really recommend this I do like the design I feel it's uh, thin and nice and light this is a bit bulky and, uh, and honestly this these corners right here yes they provide the lip but it does collect a lot of dust but however this doesn't so i've been using this for a bit now and it really doesn't collect dust at the edges so i do like that all right so that concludes my video and i hope you did like this video if you did like this video do give it a thumbs up so if you haven't subscribed do consider subscribing because you really help me out these cases are not sponsored many of the products actually which i did the past couple of videos are not sponsored so basically i purchased them with my own money especially this poco x3 nfc and even this case as well and a couple of others so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video